one of the rarer sights that uh, you see in the STM network is those late night tool vehicles. Um, and what they, they basically do is just transport uh, materials around. You see on that one, Ashley had one of those sky lifts on there, so um, you're probably actually going to see another one coming down here momentarily. And the time right now, by the way, this is right now Friday night. Uh, actually, it's technically Friday night into Saturday morning. It's um, exactly 12.50, 12.50 a.m. right now, uh, Saturday morning. So this is the time pretty much when all these very rare maintenance vehicles that you'll never see during the day uh, start coming out. Kind of like creatures of the night. It's going to be another one coming through here momentarily. Um, this was on the orange line heading towards, uh, I think it was direction Montmorency. And what you might actually see soon is another one coming from the angry on direction. Heading towards Honoré Beaugrand. And again, these you see only late night. Um, service on the green line heading towards Honoré Beaugrand is now pretty much stopped. Uh, train service heading to Angrion is still running. Train service running to Montmorency is stopped and uh, train service heading towards Culver 2 is still running. So what we're going to do here is uh, I'm going to wait and see if we can get that other tool vehicle. Oh, there's a, there's a dead header one right there. <laughs> right there. Yeah, this one's dead heading. It's not going to stop. Heading right back to the garage, maybe. Out of service. Beautiful things that you see at nighttime. That train is the last one of the night on that line. And uh, yeah, that pretty much sums that up. And once that train goes away, um, this is when you start seeing the tool vehicles coming towards the uh, Honorable Grand direction. We're going to see one shortly, hopefully. Um, still got service on the Cover 2 line. One more train. And one more train on the Angrion uh, line as well. So we're going to wait a few minutes, see if we can see here. I think I hear it coming now. That uh, rare, another maintenance vehicle now coming, I think. It's actually the one coming now that I wanted to get a couple of weeks ago. I'll hopefully get it now. This is very interesting. Is this the vacuum one coming? I don't know what this one is. So it's coming from the orange line as well. Comes another tool vehicle now, another maintenance vehicle. Let's see what this one is. Two of them on that line that I just saw now. That one was carrying cables or something, it looked like. And there's our train down there. 
Now there's going to be one more train after this, but I'm going to be getting on this one. So let's forward this train here. The second to last one of the night. No Jumons in action, is there? I saw that uh, maintenance vehicle rather briefly. Right here, there's one now on the other direction. You can hear it. I heard the other tool vehicle going by uh, in the other direction towards Honorable Grand. There's multiple vehicles that are out there, by the way, this time of night. Uh, all have a different purpose, I suppose. You can hear the other one now. I think that one just passed here. I was kind of hoping we'd be able to go downstairs and see it on the other level here, but... Uh, no luck. But that's the kind of things that you see at this time of night on the metro line. And again, there's multiple vehicles, maintenance vehicles that are out and about doing different things. I'm just going to stay here for a second and see if we can pick anything up, but I don't think we uh, have any more vehicles coming by. But, um, you know, interestingly enough, I actually had one of my viewers made a comment on my uh, my video page the other day and he mentioned that he lives above the green line um, in, the, in the, I think it was the Verdun area and actually mentioned that uh, he hears, I think it's, he lives between Monk and Angry on Metro and he actually mentioned that uh, he hears rumbling around the time the Metro closes at night time and um, you know, he watched my video and now he knows exactly what it is. It's those maintenance vehicles, those very powerful maintenance vehicles that you just saw there before. And, you know, it is, like I said, it is very noisy. You heard for yourself how loud they are. And, uh, you know, I guess they all have a purpose in their own sense. I guess some of them are carrying tools around, uh, equipment, you've seen on that one there, like I said, you had that lift truck in the back. You always wonder how do those lift trucks you see in metro stations get around? Well, there's your answer. Those vehicles carry them around. As we uh, begin to surface above the metro. Good old 
Charlotte, Charlottesville Metro Station. So I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, little suite of tool vehicles, maintenance vehicles on the tracks that you guys don't usually get to see during the day. Again, if you ever have the chance, I know it's late at night, but try to come out one day in the metro at this time of night. You know, make sure you get your last train so you get home to your destinations safely. Maybe preferably do it in the summertime. I'm blessed because I live very close to uh, Charlevoix Metro. And even if I miss that last metro at Lino Gru, I could walk from Lino Gru all the way to uh, this area here, southwest Montreal. But I, I invite everybody out there to, to explore your metro at nighttime. Uh, there's a lot of in very interesting things to see, to say the least. So, uh, yeah, that pretty much sums this video up. And uh, I wish you all a very good night and a very good weekend, and see you all soon.